Slovember is here and it's here in full force. It's been slow for the duck hunting. It's been warm and sunny and south winds and no migration has been happening. It kind of sucks, but uh, I feel like I've done fairly well considering the conditions. Let me know down in the comments how you guys have been doing on your hunts that you've been going on. I, I know this warm weather has been affecting pretty much everybody who's trying to duck hunt right now. So let me know in the comments what you guys have been up to. Have you have it? Have you been having success? Have you been struggling? Have you even gone out because the weather's been so bad? Let me know, I wanna hear it. But since I'm not hunting today, I wanna to do a video talking about these waders that I've been using this season. They are new from Rogers this year, and they are hands down, without a doubt, my favorite pair of waders I've ever worn. They are the Rogers Elite 2-in-1 Insulated Breathable Waders. So here's the waders. Um, first off, I wanna talk about this. These are the shell loops that it comes with. So comes with these, they go on your belt and they uh, have Velcro so you can take them on and off if you want, they're there for you. But with these and the shell loops on the front of the waders, you can hold a whole box of shells. So that's definitely a perk if you're a guy who wades in and has to sit in the water, you can take a whole box of shells with you and not have to worry about a bag. So we're gonna go top to bottom on these things. Um, I don't think I mentioned, but Rogers is gonna be having these exact pair of waders on sale. For Cyber Monday so make sure to check those out and the Tough Man's which is what I wore last year those are on sale right now so head over to Rogers and check them out. Top to bottom here we got an elastic strap here and it's got a different closure here it's kind of like a J-hook system so you got this web strap and this little J-hook and you just slide it in there and your waders are gonna stay on your shoulders but a lot of people like to take these on and off. I've seen reviews on the website of people complaining about these things. I'm like, okay, that's dumb. All you gotta do is just take it off your shoulders and take your waders off or pull your waders up and put your arm through the strap. So you don't have to undo the buckles on these waders, which I am definitely a fan of because I've had those mornings where you're just like trying to find the waiter strap. No more, just leave it strapped. Save yourself some time and energy. On the inside, we've got a clear water resistant cell phone pouch. It's there if you need it. I don't use it too much because I'm on my phone taking pictures and stuff. So uh, if you want to keep your phone close to your body and have it be pretty water resistant, watertight, use that. It flips into the inside of your waders. So if you don't go too deep, your phone's going to stay dry. It's got a high pile fleece hand warmer on the inside, which I'm a fan of. You can throw some hand warmer, little hot hands in there, and your hands will be toasty. The only way this is gonna get wet is if you go too deep. So some waders have that hand warmer pocket on the outside front. I've never liked those because it's really cold on the outside of your waders, but on the inside, your heat is staying in there and your hands are staying warm. So you can just slip your hands right in that hand warmer. And then on the front, of course, we covered the shell loops, but it's also got a little zipper pocket on the front water resistant zipper, not waterproof. So don't go put, putting your phone in there, wading up to the top of your waders. It's gonna get wet. Little water resistant pocket there. I usually end up tossing my keys and stuff in there or um, you know, a headlamp when I'm setting up. And I don't know, it's just there for if you need it. There's no exterior pocket on these waders. So the only pocket is on the inside for your hands. I know some waders have that zipper pocket and they've got that hand pocket. They moved the hand warmer to the inside of these waders. And this is one of my favorite parts of these waders, is on the inside. This is a zip out liner, so you can take your insulation out of the waders and have no insulation in them. So early part of the season, teal season, no insulation, you're gonna stay not as hot. I mean, I've worn five millimeter neoprene waders during teal season with 1600 gram thin slit in the boots and that gets warm. So I love being able to take the insulation out so I'm not sweating too bad during those early season hot hunts. Um, the zippers are color coded so you can't screw it up. I believe one of the legs down here, it's there's a zipper in each boot and then up top, one's black and one's orange. So it's color coded so you don't screw it up. And then up top it even has front and back on the little stick on the label here so you can't screw it up the only thing you got to watch out for is making sure that the leg isn't twisted when you zip it in because then you'll put your foot in your waders and then uh, you'll realize that you twisted your insulation you can't get your foot in there and you got to do it all over again so make sure the liner when you put it in is straight 
On the inside, there's a little bungee cinch to cinch up the top. And then on the sides, there is a little cinch up here. So you can cinch it up under your armpits, cinch it up with the bungee in the front. So then your waders are a little tighter across the top of your chest and you're not all like baggy Michelin man feeling. The thing about the, the buckles here, or the straps, shoulder straps, is they're super low profile. I know sometimes those big clunky uh, buckle straps can get in the way when you're shooting. I haven't had any issues with this getting in the way of shouldering my gun to uh, shoot ducks and stuff. So I really like how low profile that is. And then moving on down, there's a waiter belt. And then on the butt and the uh, lower leg knee area, there's this protective layer of kind of like this Carhartt material. So it, you don't have to worry about puncturing your waders, walking through brush and stuff. Um, the overall durability of these insulated breathables, it's kind of surprising. Like when you pick them up and feel them, you're like, oh, I'm gonna pop that in an instant. But it, it's really tough material. And I haven't had any leaks come from like walking through brush and puncturing my waders. So um, don't be scared. If you're a guy who walks through brush a lot, don't be scared of getting these breathables. They've held up to everything I've put them up to. Now let's talk about my favorite part of these waders as the boots. They are the most comfortable waiter boots I've ever worn. They are super lightweight. So when I put these on for the first time, I was just totally impressed with the fit of the boot and how lightweight it is. Like I feel like I'm just wearing my tennis shoes out in the marsh because these boots are so light and they fit so well. Um, they are true to size. I know some of the past Rogers waders, they had a little boot sizing issue where like the boots just kind of ran a little bit big for the size, but these are true to size. If you wear a 10, get a 10. That's I wear a 10, so I got a 10 and they fit great. The, uh, they've got 1200 grams of Thinsulate in there and they've also got three and a half millimeter neoprene that's fleece lined on the inside. So on top of the 1200 grams of Thinsulate, you've got a neoprene and fleece lined boot. So it's extremely warm and it's much, much, much warmer than the regular boots that are coming in, the Tough Man waders. I've got them on the wall over there, so that's why I'm pointing over there. Um, these are much warmer and they fit better. They're not as clunky. They're not heavy. Like you wear these things, you're going to want to run around. And if you're still wearing neoprene waders and you haven't put on a pair of insulated breathables, you are going to just be completely amazed when you put these things on. Um, they're so light. You have such great mobility. They're just as warm, if not warmer than the neoprenes and they hold up extremely well. So like I said, these waders are gonna be on sale for Cyber Monday at Rogers, so head over there, check them out. The uh, Tough Mans I've done videos on in the past, those are on sale right now, so check those out. But overall, I, these are the best waders I've ever worn, and I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys give them a try. Um, and you will be impressed with them like I was. You will be so impressed with these waders. They're so light, they're really warm. You can have such great mobility in them. I mean, there was a lot of thought and time put into developing these waders and it really shows through. So make sure to go check those out. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We're getting close to 100,000 subscribers and I've got an awesome way to say thank you once we hit that. So make sure to get in and hit that subscribe button and also drop a like on this video for me. If you don't follow me on my social media, I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you on the next one.